you're not just walking in the booth to do Dragon Ball. You're walking into a culture. You're walking into a phenomenon. You're, you're, not, you're not just doing another show. It puts a lot of pressure on us, but the good kind of pressure. It inspires you to work harder. It inspires you to pull out all the stops to do an even better job than you would have done before because we don't know where it's going to go. We don't know if it's ever going to end. Everybody who's working on it from the top down is giving it their absolute all because we all understand how important it is and that's it's just amazing. When I step into the booth and I put on the headphones and the monitor comes on and there's Beerus, I feel like I'm sort of transported to the world of Dragon Ball and, and I, I feel like I'm working with other actors just as I would if they were live on set with me. And they're lounging around yucking it up. It's an extremely exhausting show to work on. It's extremely physical. It requires an epic amount of screaming. It requires an epic amount of energy to get through it. The yelling and the powering up and the fighting and the screaming is almost synonymous with Dragon Ball. I have enormous respect for the guys that have been doing Dragon Ball for years. I've been lucky and blessed in the sense that I have a pretty good set of lungs. When I go in for Dragon Ball, I've got four hours in me before I start having flu-like symptoms. It's so intense. I remember seeing Vic after recording. I was like, I would not wish that upon my least favorite person in the world. So there's the different vocal acrobatics of it and the, the intensity of it and the uniqueness of the character. Dragon Ball is kind of its own genre, its own thing. It's, it's, it's it, it, you know, Kira Toriyama has left a really unique mark. I get to be a part of the universe with my heroes from my childhood and, and uh, I'm still geeky baby boy and every time I get to go in there and do that. And to think about the fact that here in the States, Dragon Ball has been around for 20 years. It could be around for another 20. And that means that we've seen generations grow up. Parents who watched Dragon Ball and then their kids came around during Z and then now the kids' kids are watching Super. At the end of the day, they're passionate about it. I can't help but take that passion in the booth with me. The character means so much to me personally and it means so much to so many people all over the world. The second that I fought Goku and Vegeta at the same time, I called up my little brother who got me into anime and I told him all about it. It was a big moment for me. You start thinking about things like, what's my legacy gonna be? What are people gonna remember me for? Dragon Ball is, that is where my whole heart is. I consider it why I came to Earth. The Dragon Ball cast and crew has kind of become this, this little family. We all know each other incredibly well. We work great together and we're all friends. These are all friends. I've worked with them for many years and I, I'm excited to hear their performances and their characters. I'm just counting on doing my best to make sure Broly is right up there bringing it with the rest of them. We found out there was gonna be another feature and then we found out that it's Broly. I watched the film on a, a secret iPad. I had to watch it on a private laptop in a back room where nobody else could hear me. And it's stunning. It's the, the action sequences are just stunning. The animation in it is insane. People are insane for this film. They want to see some Broly. It's exciting, it's incredibly touching. The more I've been working on this film, the more I realize that this story is a story that really needed to be told. I love Broly. I love the way he's portrayed in this film. And you actually feel for him. It's not just this big, huge guy comes out of nowhere and wants to fight people. There is more to it than that. His past, his story, where he comes from, what drives him to do the things that he does, that is definitely what makes him different. Broly is a deep and textured character. This film has a lot of what I heard fans were asking for. So it's kind of neat to come together and celebrate Dragon Ball and have this little family reunion. It's a, it's a very special occasion. There's something very special about seeing a Dragon Ball movie in a theater, and this one is just made for a giant screen. I can't wait for my kids to see this film. Oh, I'm super excited for my brother to see it. There is a moment that is so incredibly epic. It's a visual tour de force. What I've seen has been so amazing. I can't imagine where it's going to go. The pressure's on.